Today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit different this week. We're going to be talking um, each day. We're going to talk about hope uh, this week uh, leading up to Friday for our uh, life recovery uh, step. And, and this week um, we're going to just break down each, each letter in hope and each day hopefully give you uh, some help, some hope and some guidance and some scripture that, that hopefully uh, can help you get through the times that, that, that you're going through right now. I know and right now that today and in this world today that things are different and, and we're, we're really losing a lot of hope and a lot of, uh, we have a lot of fear and a lot of different things going on, especially people in recovery uh, right now being, um, being in, in isolation and not having uh, the, the people to talk to that you think you have and stuff like that, that you're losing a lot of the hope. So this week I thought that I would bring you every day uh, just a short video on, on hope and what, what does hope mean and how, how can that hope help you with some of this. So I hope you find um, this helpful uh, to a point and, and I hope that, that we can uh, give you the hope and the praise that, that Christ can bring to you that, that you're not doing this by yourself, that there are other people out there that can help you and not to be home by yourself. And, and, I, and I just hope that this week uh, we can give you that, that strength to, to reach out, to, to call somebody if you need to. So we're going to break down uh, H today. H today um, in hope, uh, H is going to, we're going to cover the Holy Spirit um, with H today. Uh, but there's a few things with, with hope that I just kind of wanted to go over really quick. And, and spiritual meaning of hope. Hope is commonly used to mean wish. Its strength is the strength of, of the person's desire. But in the, the Bible, hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength is in his faithfulness. Having your hope anchored in Jesus means that you trust him and his promises. Having Jesus' hope is having confidence that whatever it is that you, you are hoping for will come to pass. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. H, I define as the Holy Spirit. And in this passage, John 14, verses 15 through 17, and actually it's a little longer, this, this particular scripture here, when I was going through my recovery, for some reason I found this, um, this scripture, and it meant a lot to me. This was the first time in my recovery that, that I was reading that God was promising me something, uh, that he was promising me a better life, that he was promising me uh, to give me the Holy Spirit and to, and to, to help me and, and to have that hope that there was um, a way out of this. And, and so I really hung on to this, this scripture, John 14. Um, it just really meant a lot to me. And I really, I really believe and hoping that it could uh, mean something to you as well. So in here it talks about Jesus' promises, the Holy Spirit. If you love me, obey my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. And I just really love that. It just really brought me something in my recovery and I really hope that you guys can find something in that. I also like Romans 9, verse, or Romans 8, verses 9 through 10, and it says, but you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit if you have the Spirit of God living in you. And remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. And Christ lives within you. Even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Jesus 
Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same spirit living within you. Throughout the New Testament, we see the Holy Spirit directs people to do will of God. He helps us tune into the voice of the Father and in faith do what we believe he is calling us to do. Ask the Spirit to show you what the Father will be for you today and ask him to empower you to carry it out. The Holy Spirit imparts to believers gifts that are needed in the church. Nobody receives all the gifts, but they are distributed among the body of Christ, each person receiving different gifts. The gift or gifts that you receive will empower you for the calling of God as placed on your life. Embrace what God has put inside of you and be his instrument for kingdom purpose. I hope that you can find that gift and, and, and that empowerment that Christ has put upon you, that is Christ is calling on to you, that you can find the Holy Spirit within you, that you can reach out, that you can take some of these scriptures and find the Holy Spirit because he is promising you that, that he is giving you that, that Holy Spirit and that will give you that, that will give you that new life. And I just hope this week, throughout the week, that you can find something in these, um, these different days that we're going to be talking about with the different letters that I hope that you can find hope. Because without hope, we don't have anything. And in recovery, recovery, we need the hope. We need to know that there's hope. And I hope that you can find that in yourself. Today, as we talk about the Holy Spirit and how much the Holy Spirit could bring into your life, that we just ask that you guys, if you're struggling with that and you need to know how to have the Holy Spirit in your life, that you would reach out to one of us, that you would give us um, the call so that we can help you find that Spirit and the love that Christ has for you. All the numbers are here. How to get on a Facebook if you need any help, anything that we can do to help you with hope and finding the Holy Spirit, please reach out to one of us and thank you.